latest on Hurricane Barbara, which is beginning to weaken off its estimated Category 5 peak intensity that we had last night. It's 150 miles per hour and a pressure of 935 millibars according to our latest estimate as of 6 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time this July the 3rd. There is no CDPS rating at this time because no landfall or land impacts are expected in the next five days. So as such, we can't give it a CDPS stage. Uh, needless to say, it would be very high if it was affecting land. Right now it's way out at sea, there's its wind field, you can see the southeastern quadrant looking the most impressive, 13.7 north, 126.1 west, this is as of 6am PDT. It's 811 miles from Clarion Island, 1056 from Socorro, 1247 from La Paz, 1447 from Preda Vallata and 1957 from Hilo, Hawaii, starting to close in but extremely slowly. No warnings are in effect, needless to say. There's the storm's juxtaposition based on uh, the Eastern Pacific and in, in relation to the American continent, and it's still drawing further away. So, looking at the rainfall impacts over the next five days, you can see the very long trail extending from Barbara there as it shifts on towards the northwest and then turns towards the west. You can see a weaker system following in its footsteps as well, just about on that imagery there. That's probably going to be the next tropical cyclone in the eastern Pacific. So now let's look at the sea surface temperatures in relation to where the storm is right now. Uh, still hovering around 27 or maybe even pushing 28 degrees Celsius, but they're going to start to decrease pretty soon. And that's not the only thing that's going to start going against Barbara. This is another look at where it's going to go over the next few days. This is the wind field, so green areas indicate tropical storm intensity, the yellows, hurricane intensity, and then the orange is obviously stronger categories. And you can see it there, weakening from hurricane status by the end of the week over the weekend, uh, and then heading towards Hawaii, uh, making a beeline by the end of the weekend, although it does weaken markedly, to the point where it's no longer a tropical storm and probably not even a tropical cyclone. There is a difference between the two. Uh, Clips Hawaii early next week could still be a significant rainmaker. Chances of tropical storm force winds remains blank this graphic because there is a 0% chance or negligible chance of tropical storm force winds anywhere on the map from Hurricane Barbara. So now let's look at what the models are saying. This is what they're at right now and you can see them just about peaking the storm right now uh, or in the last few hours and all of them say there is a weakening trend on the way from here on in. Wind shear is going to remain low for another 12 hours or so, so if it did pull off a surprise it would have to be within that time slot. But sea surface temperatures dropping, relative humidity also dropping, and the storm's track there uh, pretty clear on how it's going to go northwest at first and then a turn towards the west. Here's the latest satellite imagery of Barbara and you can see how impressive it still looks, a very warm eye still around 17 degrees Celsius, it peaked last night at 21 degrees Celsius which is one of the warmest eyes uh, we've seen on the satellite, so not the warmest but certainly warmer than fierce hurricanes like Irma for instance. Uh, but here is how it's been looking on the infrared channels, obviously there's no visible at this time. The northwestern side of the eye wall uh, waning a lot really, and to be honest all of it is really, um, and that will probably continue throughout the rest of today and maybe we'll end up seeing another eye wall replacement cycle. That's all for now. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com. You can also find our YouTube channel if you're not there already. You may well be. Good chance of that. Subscribe if you haven't. You can also find our Facebook page, search Force 13 all in text, and our Twitter handle, it's at Force 13 on there. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force 13. You can also contact me on Discord. It's fool13 at extension 9094 and force13 on Skype. You can also find our server link to our Discord server for tropical weather chat in our description.